Okay, what do we know with numbers? What are we looking at polls? And then we'll talk about early voting, but what do you know of the polls? So uh, as far as polling is concerned, you know, I, I've, I've kind of turned off a lot of the polling after the, after the election because of the, I mean, obviously still following it, but the, the way that they were so off and then again, not admitting that they were off or at least saying, this is what we got wrong. Uh, however, uh, one of those full outfits that I've always followed and felt that have been very reliable, Trafalgar, has uh, both uh, both the Senate candidates, uh, Republican Senate candidates, trailing uh, anywhere between two and three points. Amazing. Now, is and I'm, I'm sure it's just, again, because of just massive, uh, uh, well, we won't talk about fraud, but massive voter turnout in the cities. Is that what's doing this? Yeah, wow. this is the same thing that happened in the, yeah, this is the same thing that happened in the general is that they're going to go into the areas that they knew they were successful in and just turn them all out again. Uh, I don't think that they're going to have as high of turnout, uh, but unfortunately Trump has not done no favors in the state with the way he's been railing against uh, the voter fraud that occurred in the state, or at least the alleged voter fraud. Uh, the, his, his, phone call with Raffensperger being uh, Raffensperger being uh, exposed or released this last week, which by the way, like I said, isn't right, wasn't correct. It seems very wrong for him to have done that. Uh, but the fact is, I don't think that's going to do either Senate candidate any favors on election day. Um, what about, give us some numbers. What do we know about early voting and, and all that? Uh, as far as early voting and everything is concerned, we can tell who turned out, but we can't tell uh, how in what like who they voted for, if that makes any sense. Uh, so there it does seem to appear to be a Democrat advantage in early turnout. Uh, not a not as not as sizable as it was in the primary, I should say, or, or not in the primary in the in the general election in November primary for this race though. Uh, so I don't really see how there is going to be um, any additional turnout that's going to really make a difference for Republicans. We could be blown away again where they just over overestimate how many Dems will actually turn up on Election Day. Trump not being on the top of ballot does hurt Dems because that was their means of turning everyone out. And now that it's going to be uh, a Biden uh a potentially a Biden administration that they're going to say, well, let's let, let's balance against that. They're, most of the time, midterms after an, a president elect is elected will shift back to the party who lost the White House. So in this particular case, it may be an early sign of that as opposed to waiting fully till 2022. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.